What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be going over the fastest and most consistent ways to get your M79 diamond in Black Ops Cold War. The M79 is definitely not the easiest weapon to use in the game and it also has a pretty unique set of challenges to get the gold camo when you compare it to the other launches. To get this diamond you will also need to get the knife gold as well and I have a video on that as well so be sure to check that one out on the channel once you are done with this one. If you're new around here and you are interested in seeing more guides like this one in the future then be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications as there are plenty more videos like this one on the way. But anyway, without wasting any more time, let's get stuck right into it. So as I always mentioned, one of the biggest challenges overall with grinding for camos this year is just how long it takes to level up your weapons. This is likely going to be about 50% of the M79 grind for you guys as this bad boy is not easy to level up. But luckily for you guys, I did find a strategy that actually involves playing Dirty Bomb and I managed to max out my M79 in about three or four games. I've got a whole separate video on that if you guys do want to check that out essentially you just need to drop into dirty bomb land on people when you're parachuting in and then melee them to death as that will help you level up much much faster so you know the trick now you don't need to watch the video but if you guys do want to see it a little bit more in depth then i will leave a link up in the top right for you guys to check that one out now anyway getting into the camos starting off with the sprays these are essentially not even necessary to focus on because to actually max out the weapons and get the final camos unlocked you're going to need more kills to get those than you will to actually get these camos so you'll get these ones without even having to think. Moving on to the stripes, these require you to get 50 long shots with the M79 and I won't lie, I think these are probably the most painful camos that I've gone for in this game overall. At first I was really, really struggling with these, getting maybe a few lucky ones here and there, but eventually I did find a few spots that do count as long shots and I pretty much just stuck to those spots until I got them all. Firstly, what you want to do is run Danger Close on this class so that you do start with more ammo for the launcher as well as actually having an assault pack to get more ammo once you are out of ammo. Secondly, you want to be playing hardcore as otherwise it won't be a one hit kill and lastly you do want to play either Nuketown or Raid if possible. There are other maps obviously that can be great as well but these two maps have a couple of handy long shot spots in which I got probably 40 out of the 50 kills. This garage in the blue house has a line of sight through the truck in the middle to the other garage and if you aim it well enough then you can actually get a long shot here on any campus in the back there which in hardcore Nuketown 24-7 is honestly very common. Standing behind the right corner of the yellow house and aiming over to the corner of the blue house where where the snipers often camp is another great spot and this is probably one of the best ones on this map as there's always someone looking down that line of sight or even just running down there after they spawned. On raid the best spot that I found was in this little bedroom overlooking the pool area. If you shoot all the way to the other little sniper's nest on that other side then that will count as a long shot as well. This challenge is going to take a lot of patience but if you do stick with it these will eventually be done and out of the way. Next up we have the classic camos which require you to get two kills in a row with the M79 without dying 20 times over. These used to actually be three kill streaks rather than two, so F in the chat for those of you who did grind away the three kill streaks only for them to eventually change it. Like me. I did that. It was not fun. Now, what I will say is that for right now, don't even bother about these two kill streaks as there's another camo class later on that does also require two kills in a row. So I'll actually just give you guys a single tip for those camos that are going to help with these ones too. So stick around to the end of the video when I touch on those and you'll know exactly what I mean. Moving on to the geometric camos, these just require you to destroy 50 equipment score streaks or vehicles. Now, these ones are pretty damn easy, although they do just take a little bit of time to get done since you obviously can't really shoot down aerial score streaks or anything. So these are some camos that you've just got to sort of do in the background while you're working on the others. The only tip I can really give is just to run engineer in your class which allows you to see equipment, score streaks and vehicles through walls and so then if you can see say a field mic or a proximity mine or anything you can easily get to that area on the map and shoot it with the launcher. Moving on we have the flora camos and these ones require you to kill 50 enemies who are taking cover from you. Now this sounds really daunting because these are kind of hard enough with the other weapons let alone with the M79 but honestly I actually found that these kind of just came as I was getting the rest of the camos. I remember I did have to specifically go for these ones towards the end since I only had maybe 40 out of the 50 but honestly just shooting the grenades into rooms where people camp or into doorways where people are looking out at you and stuff those are the best ways to get these done and really there's no specific tips or tricks to get these ones done. It will just take a bit of playtime and probably a bit of luck as well. Next up we then have the science camos and these ones seem way too hard when you first think about it but trust me I'm about to blow your mind. If you 
kill two score streaks or vehicles with the Sigma, then get the third one with the M79. For whatever reason, that will count towards these camos. So what I did was I jumped into some Raid 24-7 or Nuketown 24-7. I had one class with the Sigma and one class with an M79, and then I was just getting some camos for a few of my assault rifles and SMGs. When I heard spy planes being called in, I then switched to my Sigma class, take out two as fast as I could, then I would switch back to my M79 class, play the game normally again, and then when the next score streak got called in, I would take it out with the M79. Obviously, it doesn't shoot high enough to take out spy planes or anything. As far as I know, you can only actually hit care packages and maybe attack helicopters, as well as obviously sentry guns and RCXDs. And so these are still pretty hard to get just because you are kind of relying on the enemies to bring in the right kill streaks. But I'm sure now that you know that, you're feeling much better than you were beforehand. So just stick with it and these will happen probably faster than you think. Now, lastly, we have the psychedelic camos and these just require two kills in quick succession with the launcher 25 times over. These ones are probably the easiest for the whole weapon, to be honest. And these are what I was talking about before when I mentioned the classic camos. Those require two kills without dying and these require two kills in quick succession. So obviously every time you get one of these, you're also getting the two kill streak as well. And so it is pointless to even attempt to get those other two kill streaks without trying to go for these at the same time. The only tip that I have for these is to go into hardcore mode as that will make it a one hit kill without flak jacket. And then yeah, just try your best to get a kill and follow that up with that kill straight after. On Nuketown, it's pretty easy to get these ones done once you've found a bit of an easier lobby. These are so much easier than the same challenge with the RPG and the Sigma because the reload time is so much faster so you can actually have a second to think before trying to get the second kill. Melee kills do also count remember so if you can get on Nuketown domination get into the other team's house and then melee them to death in quick succession. That's the best way to avoid anyone having flak jackets so go for that whenever possible but firing them normally is a solid strategy as well especially if you can get direct hits. Obviously once you do unlock all of those camos then gold will be unlocked for the M79 and if you do have the knife gold as well then diamond will be unlocked for both. The M79 is definitely a pretty tough weapon to get gold, easily one of the top three hardest in the game but if you follow this video then you should be able to get them done much faster than you probably think and once these are done the rest of the camos are going to feel a whole lot easier too. That is going to do it for this one though guys if you enjoyed the video then be sure to leave a like down below and if you are new then consider subscribing to the channel with those notifications on. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.